full time MMA? MMA. Nothing yeah. else. My life, man. Yeah. Or is this is this full time MMA now? Uh, I love full time MMA right now. <laughs> Back to the Daily Grind, thanks for checking out the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and hook your boy up with a like if you're not a baby back bagel bite bitch boy, cause you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. Yo, I fucking love this dude. How can you not love Michael Bisping, man? I honestly don't know why I don't listen to his podcast. I mean, that's, I'm about to start listening to this shit because, I mean, he's dropping gold. And, and until Chell Sonnen brings Joel back, I mean, I need something else to listen to. No, I'm just fucking around, but... Michael Bisping came on his podcast and, and he fucking dropped a bombshell, yo. He fucking, they said George St. Pierre had, had, he said George St. Pierre delayed their fight to cycle off of steroids. But when he, the way he said it was fucking hilarious, bro. I, I read the article, then I was reading the actual wording of Michael Bisping and, and I fucking died laughing. Listen to what he said. I was training with someone recently who shall remain nameless and he was telling me that George St. Pierre was on something. He's not part of my regular team, but I couldn't help but notice the massive amount of muscle that he that this person had and he told me. He was very frank about it. I'm very naive when it comes to steroids and I want to stop right there because that's my deal. I'm very naive when it comes to steroids. I've never fucking taken steroids. so. I don't, and, and to my knowledge, USADA does their job well. The fact that they've got John Jones, Brock Lesnar, Junior Dos Santos, the fact that they're kind of hurting the UFC a little bit makes me feel like they're doing their job. I mean, now this is, in Michael Bisping, he, he sounds not as naive as me, so I don't feel as bad for being naive on steroids. Some people are in here like, bro, go watch this steroid documentary. It's only two hours long. And then after that, go to this YouTube video. It's only two and a half hours, and you're going to know everything about steroids. It's like, no, 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 no. I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't give a fuck. If, if, if USADA can't catch him, I'm not trying. I'll tell you that much. People come at me talking about Kevin Lee, even Tony Ferguson. It's funny. He's, he was talking about that video that we, I don't know, a lot of us seen where some dude was on YouTube and he made a video and he's pointing out Kevin Lee looks like he has some hor hormone growth injections because he got like dots on his stomach. It's, it's hilarious because Tony Ferguson was like, I seen the YouTube video. You had dots on your stomach. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what video he's talking about. Oh, it's hilarious. It's like, a, I forgot the dude's last name. I think his name's like Ted something. Ted Check. I don't know his fucking name, but it's hilarious because it's a crazy accusation. But if you saw us doing their job, it's like if they see these signs, aren't shouldn't they be testing him? But let's get to what fucking Michael Bispeak had to say because he's, hey, he's as naive as me. He said, I'm very naive when it comes to steroids, but he said it's an in and out your system in one day one day holy shit i didn't even know such things existed i really didn't that's how naive i am and that's what all those motherfuckers are taking i'm telling you so you saw it if you're listening get your ass up to canada and test george <laughs> george's hide out in his apartment block and get the motherfucker on the way to the gym <laughs> oh my lord he's telling you saw to go pull a motherfucking uh they he said go stake out george st pierre <laughs> Fucking set him up. That's hilarious. He said, if you're listening, get someone up to Canada and test George right now. Oh, my God. You got to fucking love this dude. And But, man, I, I fucking get what he's saying. That's how. I, that's what I'm saying. Like, a lot of these guys, like, when they come out with fucking pictures and questionable pictures or if there's any evidence that people might, like, because, I mean, I know I'm not the only one that's seen, like, George St. Pierre, like, I don't know how long, it was after his, he talked about his return, he had, like, some pictures with, like, a bloated stomach, and like a, Michael Bisbee said, I am, and like I said, I'm very naive on steroids, but there's a lot of people that were like, oh, a bloated stomach means this steroid, blah, 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 and I was like, hey, that shit does look weird, but I don't know anything about steroids, but if you saw have seen that picture, I'm sure they would have fucking tested him, so to me, George St. Pierre's clean. But Michael Bisping's coming out and saying he learned from a fucking steroid, steroid, somebody that knows a lot about steroids. Hey, there's some shit you can take for one day and it's in and out your system. And if that's true, hey, the whole game is fucked up. If that's true, like Nate Diaz, like Mark Hunt, like Michael Bisping, like all these people say, all these motherfuckers are on steroids. If, if this shit is true, and I, I really don't got no reason to, Michael Bisping's not really a guy that comes and t talks out of his ass. 
Now, he'll come out and say what's on his mind, but it's usually not going to be a fucking lie. There's not much that you hear about Michael Bisping just fucking lying. Like, you know Chell Sonnen, he'll come out and break some news, but you don't know whether or not to believe it because sometimes, you know, he's just fooling you. know, sometimes he's just... Sometimes he is deceiving you a little bit or leading you a different way. Or or maybe he's, I don't know, maybe he's not. Maybe you don't think that. But Michael Bisping, I, I can't really think of him. He, to me, he's just Frank. Michael Bisping's like, you know how they say whenever you get drunk, you speak your mind? It's like Michael Bisping's like that all the time. Now, I'm not saying he's drunk all the time. I'm just saying he's got those actions like he's always open as fuck. He's as open as a drunk person all the time. It's fucking hilarious. And <laughs> now that I say that, it's kind of, I'm thinking about something. But anyways, like, is this nigga drunk? No, nah, I'm sure he's not. But it is what it is, man. This shit was hilarious. I actually, I'm, you know what? I'm about to download this and listen to this at work tomorrow. I want to listen to this episode because I want to hear him. Like, <laughs> that shit's, I already know I'm going to be fucking laughing. It is what it is, man. I'm about to start listening to the Believe You Me podcast. And maybe you should too. I don't know. <laughs> it is, I'm out, man. Let the hitters know what the fuck you tell me in the comments. What's the best way to kill vegan zombies? A steak to the heart. <laughs> Bye, Felicia.